clouds of steam wafting up from downtown streets and sidewalks. If you've noticed them, you may have wondered, where is that coming from? Well, the short answer is that it all starts at this massive and kind of spooky looking plant near First and Grand that dates back to 1904. Vicinity Energy's Josh Jeffus has agreed to give us a deep dive into the low carbon thermal energy process that takes place here, producing what's known as district energy. Warning, it gets kind of loud down here by the turbines. What we do is we pull water from the river with these 64 million gallon pumps. Instead of having cooling towers, we use the river water for cooling. This is our draft pressures, our air pressures. This is how you decrease your uh, uh, gas pressure here. And this is our DC power cranes, which is we set our AC motors to make 250 watt DC power, and then that operates the turbine crane. <laughs> Got all that? Neither do I. So Josh, let's do it again. This time really simple. We uh, produce steam and chill water. For downtown so if you think about your heater or air conditioner at your house we produce the equivalent of that but here and so your building doesn't have to have a boiler your building doesn't have to have a chiller you don't have to have cooling towers you just have a pipe think of it this way it's a lot like what colleges and hospitals do efficiently distributing heating and cooling from a central location only on a much larger scale Vicinity customers are connected by miles of pipes that run underground in and near downtown, like the ones that our own Emily Curiel is climbing down to sneak a peek at. Oh wow, it's hot out here! And it's not very scenic either, unless you're into gauges and pressure reducers. In all, some 60 businesses, hotels, residential properties and government facilities receive thermal energy in the form of heating or cooling or both including the T-Mobile Center, which figures it saves money and space by not having to house the huge chillers and boilers needed to do arena-sized duty. So this pipe is attached all the way back to the plant. The steam comes in through here, and then we meter the flow, and it runs through these pipes, and then they use it for hot water, they use it for heat. If you uh, wash your hands at T-Mobile and the hot water comes out, that's us. And then if you uh, are enjoying an ice show at T-Mobile, that's us too. In 2017, the plant, which was owned by the French company Veolia at the time, made news by eliminating coal in favor of natural gas. Today, Vicinity claims that move and its green steam processes have cut greenhouse gas emissions significantly. Quite a turnaround for a building that originally went online to power up a growing city in the age of the automobile. It reminds me of if I was a maintenance person at the Smithsonian, is that you're walking through this historic building, it's still being used, all these things are being utilized, they still work. Soon the source of our cinematic steam will be getting seen by a lot more people. The KC Currents new stadium and a pedestrian bridge to it are being built just down the road. Josh Jeffus can hardly wait. There's been bloggers come by and everybody to come take tours and I, I always give them to them when they come. I hope it draws more attention to uh, sustainability as in sustaining old equipment, not just tearing things out, not getting things to landfills and keeping stuff like this running.